The International Olympic Committee could decide to award two future Summer Olympics at the same time this morning. That's big news because that's never happened before. Hours ago, Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti led the city's formal presentation to bring the Games back to the U.S. in 2024. Paris is also trying to win over IOC members. Jamie Yukas is outside the L.A. Memorial Coliseum. That's a home of two previous Olympics and possibly a third. His third time the charm. Jamie, good morning. <laughs> Yes, I like that, Gail. Third time would be the charm. This would be an unprecedented decision, too, where both cities could end up with the Olympic Games. But then you're looking at, is it 2024, 2028? When you wait that long, there's a big impact on budget. And, of course, venue. We're here at the Los Angeles Coliseum. They would need track installation and plenty of upgrades before they're ready to host the world. Los Angeles Mayor Eric Garcetti is in a sprint to the finish line in Switzerland, where the International Olympic Committee is deciding if it will award back-to-back -back games in 2024 and 2028, something it's never done before. This moment requires bold new solutions, bold new thinking. And I think Los Angeles is well poised, and the best poised, to be able to answer those questions for the Olympic movement today. But for L.A. to win the earlier date, the committee will have to overlook a historic hook. 2024 would mark the 100th anniversary of Paris hosting the Games. French President Emmanuel Macron said this morning that Paris is better suited to defend the Games' values of openness and tolerance, which is being challenged by others. Everything which made the, this Olympic spirit and which gathers us today. And today's values are at risk. And I think it's very consistent with the French DNA, the French mission. L.A. Chamber of Commerce President Gary Tobin. I mean, is that ultimately the prize? Is 2024? We never were talking about 2028 until the IOC brought up the possibility. And then we have to deal with that. Initially, Boston also got the chance to bid, along with Rome, Hamburg, and Budapest for 2024. But all four cities dropped out over cost and size concerns. David Wharton covers the Olympics for the Los Angeles Times. So the International Olympic Committee keeps touting this as a win-win-win, but really, they need to make this happen. It's a deal, deal, deal. They kind of have to give up something to get one city to wait. Both Paris and Los Angeles are hoping to put on the games without a hefty price tag. Los Angeles is budgeting more than $5 billion, less than half the estimated cost of the Rio Olympics, and a fraction of the $51 billion Sochi reportedly spent on the 2014 Winter Games. If L.A. doesn't get the games until 2028, there is concern it could lose momentum. No one's ever put on a games where it was planned 11 years in advance. How do you keep that going? So that will be a challenge. But for those involved with bringing the Olympics back to LA, it's game on. Los Angeles is so proud of the 1932 and 1984 Olympics, and they were like nothing better than to prove that they can do it three times in a row. Now, even if back-to-back -back games are awarded, L.A. and Paris will still have to figure out who goes first, and that won't happen until September, Nora. All right, Jamie, thank you. That's exciting. Two great choices. Oh, Two boy. great choices. Whatever you choose. You like so, Paris and Los I, Angeles. I do. I do. <laughs> Be happy with whatever they, do, whatever they decide.